If you've watched a lot of trading videos on YouTube, um, my videos included, you've probably noticed that they tend to have more than one indicator on the chart. And the reason for this is because most of the time, no single trading indicator can fulfill each and every trading need. You'll often need one indicator for volume confirmations, another one to verify the trend, and perhaps one more to identify buy and sell entry points in the market. This method has its advantages, which are obvious, but it also has several disadvantages such as information overload and messy charts leading to slow and poor decision making when trading. But what if there was a way to simplify this process? What if there was a single comprehensive indicator that could act as an entire trading strategy? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a super profitable trading strategy that's built around just one powerful trading indicator. Let's get into it. First things first, go to tradingview.com. If you need to sign up, I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Then you're going to load any Forex pair or trading security that you like. For me, I'm going to be using the odd NZD on the one hour time frame. I'm going to be using this pair specifically because this is a trend monster. Especially on the one hour time frame, the odd NZD can maintain a trend longer than any Forex pair I have ever seen. Now, you may be thinking, but what is the name of this awesome indicator that also functions as an entire trading strategy? Well, that indicator is called Madrid Moving Average Ribbon or MMA for short. To add it to your chart, you're going to click on Indicators, then type in Madrid Moving Average. Select this one that has over 24,000 likes created by Madrid. Now, as you can see here, this indicator is basically a combination of 18 different exponential moving averages, each one with a different length. The fastest one, this one that's at the top, is a 5 period EMA, and the slowest one, this one that's at the bottom, is a 90 period EMA. The step increase from the fastest one to the slowest one is 5 periods, meaning that this one at the top is 5 periods, then this one is 10 periods, this one is 15 periods, and so forth. By default, this indicator uses exponential moving averages to plot out this beautiful trend ribbon that we see right here. Looking at the input settings, you can also choose to uncheck the exponential moving average option, and by doing that, it's going to use the standard moving averages. And of course, there's no option to change the lengths of each individual moving average. Then looking at the style tab, we have the option to change the colors and thicknesses of each and every EMA. However, I like this the way it is, so let's just stick to that. Moving averages are the most popular trend confirmation indicators to ever be created. By combining 18 different exponential moving averages, we're able to take advantage of this to not only trade in the direction of the overall trend, but also to avoid trading when the market is ranging, which is really insane. Now, you may be thinking, So what makes this indicator function as a single trading strategy? Well, this indicator has all the features that we need to identify the overall trend as well as to identify buy and sell entry points in the direction of the overall trend. To understand this better, I'm just gonna have to show you. But before that, what broker do you guys use to trade? Personally, I use Henko Trade. As you can see here, this is my trading history. I mainly scalp gold. And up here, you can see that it's actually a live account. The reason why I love Henko Trade so much is because of their extremely low commissions and spreads. On Forex, for example, the spreads can go as low as 0.0, .0 pips, which is the lowest it can go. And for those of you that love high leverage, guess what? Henko Trade offers up to 500x leverage. And if that's not enough, they're also going to give you a 100% bonus for all your deposits up to $25,000. So if you deposit, say, $500, they're going to give you a bonus of $500 so you'll have $1,000 to trade with. To access the bonus, as well as all the other perks, sign up to Henko Trade using the link in the video description. Back to the video. Now, to trade using this single indicator trading strategy, here is how we're going to do it. For a long trade, first, the EMAs of the Madrid ribbon should be colored bright green to indicate a bullish trend. The color of the first two EMAs doesn't really matter because they're super sensitive to price changes. But as long as the rest of these are colored bright green, then this is a strong bullish trend. Second, the market should do a pullback. But how do we confirm a pullback using this very same indicator? 
Well, the price candles need to come back down and close below at least 10 moving averages counting from the top. As you can see here, each and every time a candle closes below a moving average, that moving average changes color from bright green to dark red. Now, to confirm that the price has closed below at least 10 different moving averages from the top, we need to have at least 10 of these moving averages turning from green to red. Now, this pullback is important because it's gonna allow us to buy into this uptrending market at a discounted price. Next, in order to prevent you from trading in a consolidating or ranging market, we wanna make sure that during this pullback, none of these price candles closes below the slowest moving average, this one at the very bottom. If any of these candles closes below this line, that trade setup becomes invalid. The fourth condition is that we want the price to continue in the direction of the overall bullish trend and close above all of these moving averages. At the time the candle closing happens, all the moving averages should be colored bright green. This highly increases the probability of the market continuing in this overall bullish trend. This becomes our entry signal candle. Lastly, we want to make sure that the upper wick of this signal candle is actually smaller than the body of the candle. A smaller upper wick signifies that the market has enough bullish momentum to push the price in the direction of our trade. But how do you confirm that the wick is actually smaller than the body of the candle? Well, simple. First, click here to activate the magnet tool. Then, click on this angled icon to expand the forecasting and measurement tools list. Then, click on the price range tool to select it. Next, click at the very bottom of the wick and drag all the way to the end of the wick to see how big it is in pips. And of course, you're gonna have to repeat the same for the body of the candle. And there you go. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're gonna enter a long trade here. The stop loss is gonna be set just a few pips below the most recent swing low. For the take profit, we're gonna set it at 2.5 times the risk. We let this trade run and after some time, it decides to hit take profit. For short trades, we're just gonna reverse all the conditions. So first, the EMAs of the Madrid ribbon should be colored bright red to indicate a bearish trend. The color of these first two EMAs doesn't really matter because they're super sensitive to price, but as long as the rest of these are colored bright red, then this is a strong bearish trend. Second, the market should do a pullback. But how do we confirm a pullback in a bearish trend? Well, the price candles need to come back up and close above at least 10 moving averages counting from the bottom. As you can see here, each and every time a candle closes above a moving average, that moving average changes color from bright red to dark green. To confirm that the price has closed above at least 10 different moving averages from the bottom, we need to have at least 10 of these moving averages turning from red to green. This pullback is essential because it's gonna allow us to short sell this downtrending market at a discounted price. Next, to prevent you from trading in a consolidating or ranging market, we wanna make sure that during this pullback, none of these price candles closes above the slowest moving average, this one at the very top. If any of these candles happens to close above this line, that trade setup becomes invalid. The first condition is that we want the price to continue in the direction of the overall bearish trend and close below all of these moving averages. At the time the candle closing happens, all the moving averages should be colored bright red. This highly increases the probability of the market continuing in this bearish trend. This becomes our entry signal candle. Lastly, we want to make sure that the lower wick of this signal candle is smaller than the body of the candle. A smaller wick signifies that the market has enough bearish momentum to push the price in the direction of our trade. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're gonna enter a short trade here. The stop loss is gonna be set just a few pips above the most recent swing high. And for the take profit, we're gonna set it at 2.5 times the risk. We let this trade run and take profit. Now I wonder, what do you guys think of this single indicator trading strategy? 
Is it better than other strategies that combine multiple indicators or is it worse? Let us know in the comment section below. That's been it for this video. Hope you found some value. If you did, hit the like button below and consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.